Guys, we've got an emergency announcement which is coming from NASA and it seems like there is a massive crack or some sort of a hole that has just been formed in the sun. Now I know it all sounds super weird as of now but it seems like there are some crazy things happening in 2025 and just a couple of hours ago NASA has reported where it seems like there is a massive hole that has just opened in the sun and they've even shared some of the footage here. As you can see there is a massive crack that starts all the way from from here and it heads all the way in between the sun and apparently what's happening here is that NASA has reported on the breaking news that there is a massive solar flare that's kind of emitting out of these hole that has just been formed and it's heading super fast towards earth in just 24 hours now look at this stuff breaking NASA says that massive coronal hole covering 25 percent of the sun's circumferences and it will be sending alarming fast solar winds towards earth and they've even released the footage just take a look at this stuff here you see there is some sort of a hole that's like formed in between the sun you, you see how it's all cracked open all this way and this hole it's bursting out some sort of a solar flare and all of this flare that it's bursting out it's heading towards earth and there's going to be massive heat waves and if you think that los angeles is currently burning and what would actually happen if this amount of heat is added onto all of those fire situation it seems like things are going to get even more worse than we expected just take a look at how freaking scary it looks and this is the scale of earth right here and that's basically how big the solar flare is like we, our earth is so tiny compared to what flare we're actually getting and all of that stuff it's going to be passing right through earth so imagine how hot the earth is going to get once this entire flare starts reaching towards earth and a lot of people are saying nasa never gives any good news it's always bad news solar winds what does that mean and space weather news has also reported about the situation where they say i told you a huge coronal hole would be visible and here it is it spans over one fourth of the circumference of our star enhanced solar winds to arrive on earth in just coming hours so a lot of people are asking what exactly is the solar wind and what kind of effects can this actually have on us humans and on earth and i just came across this video where they explain about the consequences of what is actually going to happen and what's heading towards our earth because of this massive hole that has just been formed in sun now a huge shout out to suspicious observers on youtube please go check out their video i'll leave the link down below the description here's what they've explained Good so morning. far and the climate extremes we discussed a decade ago, key prediction, staring us right in the face. Look at this sun, man. We'll start with the it last looks, 24 hours on our star. It's quiet. It looks so quiet. freaking scary. So apparently this is the crack that we are seeing right now. All the way right here. I think this footage was released by NASA. Not sure it's destined to stay that way, but for now okay. solar flaring has disappeared. The sunspot situation. Wait, solar flaring has disappeared? Situation is on the decline, but that too may soon change. Okay. And the calm solar wind and geomagnetic condition is due to change even sooner. That's this actually good news. This coronal hole, likely the largest since the last sunspot cycle, will send its solar wind toward Earth, and that is expected to arrive tomorrow. The tomorrow i mean this is happening so quick that we have uh no time to react for this as well there will be so many satellites that are going to get destroyed because of all of this thing we're going to lose electricity and i don't know how the government is going to keep all of those things secure and try to secure all of those satellites against these solar flares because the amount of heat that's actually coming towards earth and the atmosphere of earth is going to be insane the enormity of it suggests its magnetic fields are pretty potent so we also mm -hmm. enter an excess magnitude event watch as well what is excess magnitude event watch the sunspots are decaying the drop in okay. flares is not surprising and now the majority are departing view top right so apparently there are sunspots which has been uh noticed from a very long time and these sunspots i uh, look at these things one over here here and there's a massive one over here enormous spots so these spots nobody knows why it's even caused is this certain like burning out or something? <laughs> I don't know. It seems like they're decaying and it's changing its color into more blackish. And probably if this decaying just keeps continuing, it seems like there will be a lot of black patches all over the sun. And this is also predicted in the Bible where it says that during the revelation period, it seems like the sun will completely turn black and people will not be able to get any sunlight. And the daytime will start looking like night times and all of this stuff will happen before the second coming of Christ. And it's absolutely scary 
great to see that all of these things are actually happening right the now. The Earth-facing group on the north is spread magnetically. We'd need development in that group to have significant flares. But just Okay, so all of these patches are going to be releasing flares, it seems like. The one door closes opens another i guess we will see over the next two days there's also another video that was posted by sasaki andy on youtube and this gives us a lot more information about what's actually coming towards earth and it's so freaking scary i heard like a very small bit of it i want you guys to take a look at what's For actually those going of us on who, you know haven't spent a ton of time thinking about space weather mm -hmm. what exactly is solar wind and what makes it super fast. Exactly. Well, That's the question I want to know. Think of solar wind as this constant stream of charged particles, mostly electrons and protons that are always mm -hmm. flowing out from the sun. Okay. It's always mm -hmm. happening. But corona holes, they act like these open gates in the sun's magnetic field. Mm -hmm. Open gates in the sun's magnetic field. So it means like there are flares that's like always surrounding around the sun. And due to this massive crack or some sort of a hole that just formed in sun, it seems like those things just got pushed over and it's moving towards Earth. And that lets the solar wind escape, but at much, much higher speeds. So instead of a gentle breeze, we're talking about more like hurricane force winds. Wow. Is, oh my God. That's a great way to put it. Usually the solar wind travels at about 400 kilometers per second. Oh, what? 400 kilometers per second. <laughs> I thought she was going to say hour, but second. Okay. But in this case, this coronal hole was blasting out solar wind at speeds okay. closer to 800 kilometers per second. Oh, my Maybe God. That's, that's literally going to wipe out so many places. I don't know. I think it's like the speed that's uh, calculated within nearby sun. By the time it reaches Earth, I think the speed is going to be much more reduced. So it's not going to cause a lot of damage. Even faster. Wow. And, you know, when you have that kind of intense solar wind, mm -hmm. it can really have a noticeable impact on Earth. I bet. OK, I'm picturing I, I this know supercharged kind of solar wind just slamming into Earth. <laughs> what happens when our planet takes a direct hit like that? Well, exactly. the good news is exactly. we have a natural shield. Oh, good. It's called Earth's magnetosphere. OK. And or... Or it is also called as the firmament, something that uh, the Bible mentions that we have that's kind of protecting the earth. And there's water on the other side. And, and you know, maybe that whole firmament thing could protect us. I'm not sure. And it's basically this magnetic field that surrounds mm -hmm. our planet and deflects most of the solar wind away. OK, good. But this oh, particular blast, that's nice. it was so intense that it actually compressed the magnetosphere. Really? Yeah, it caused it to ring like a bell. Oh, wow. Wait, ring like a bell? So it means that it's still going to be hitting our Earth? Oh, okay. So like if you squeezed a balloon really hard. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know, our magnetosphere usually does a great job of protecting us. Huh? Okay. But when you get a strong compression like this, it can still have some pretty interesting effects. Some good, some um, bad, I imagine. Some Where should good? we start? How's Let's that start good? with a good one. The auroras. Okay. You know, oh. the north... Yeah, we, we kind of get all the northern lights that's kind of shown. I don't think it's good, man. It means that, you know, our environment is losing a part of its health because, you know, it's getting weaker because all of these things, it's kind of like constantly attacking our Earth's environment. It's kind of just getting weaker over time. I mean, it seems like we're going to be able to see lights like this in the sky. And trust me, it's going to look so freaking beautiful. And I think every country will be able to see this stuff. Most probably we'll get to see something that kind of looks like this. This is like the realistic uh, way of how it might end up looking. So this is possibly how we're probably going to be seeing stuff uh, appearing on our Earth. And it looks absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and see what they oh, have to yeah, say here. Oh yeah, the northern lights, those incredible light shows in the sky. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to see so those. So what's the bad yeah, stuff? Yeah, they're, they're beautiful and... <laughs> communication issues, uh -huh. problems with weather forecasting. Precisely. Mm -hmm. And it's not just satellites we have to think about. What Intense is it? solar storms like this can also induce currents in power lines, especially in high latitude regions. Right. Oh, if you're staying in a much more higher altitude areas like mountains or something like that, like for example, if you live in Finland or Norway and all that stuff, uh, it's going to get much more affected because there are a lot of mountains there. And the higher you go in altitude, the more it's going to get affected in terms of you're not going to get signal and or electricity is going to get erupted and also the temperatures in our atmosphere it's going to be much higher i believe that sounds potentially disastrous didn't something like that happen back in 1859 
The Carrington event, wasn't it? Yeah. Where a massive solar storm. But I don't think it's going to be as big as Carrington event, is it? Or fried telegraph lines. That's a mm-hmm. perfect example. Thankfully, this recent event wasn't anywhere near as powerful as the Carrington event. Oh, but it does highlight the potential risk. So it means that it's, we don't know if it's going to be like super disastrous. But as far as what people have been saying, it seems like, yes, it is disastrous. There are going to be bad things happening. And hopefully it doesn't cause a lot of mass destruction is what everyone's trying to hope for. And there's another image that we have here, and it absolutely looks scary. Just look at the size of the enormous hole that has just been formed in sun. Like it's a whole big crack in the sun. I don't know what's even going to be happening after this. Is that going to like weaken the sun in some way? And nobody even knows what's even causing all of this. If you actually compare everything that's going on in the world with what was actually foretold in the Bible, you'll know that in Mark chapter 13 verse 24, it actually says that at the time after the anguish of those days, the sun will be darkened. The moon will give no light because the moon is going to turn completely into red color. And we also heard that the moon is currently rusting and it's kind of becoming orangish, reddish color. And this prophetic statement foretells the cosmic disturbances accompanying the end times of the world. Where the sun will be darkened, it signifies as the coming of significant world altering events and divine interventions. According to the Bible in the end times, the sun will be turned turned into darkness, signifying a major celestial event that will occur before the second coming of Jesus. And that's eventually going to be one of the most terrible days of all of our mankind, and most prominently referred to in Joel 2.31 and further mentioned in Matthew 24.29, where it speaks about the sun, moon, stars, which will be affected during this tribulation period. And Jesus actually mentioned that in order to know if this is the time when my second coming is arriving, you'll have to look into the stars look into the sky because that's where all the signs will be shown and right now look at everything that's happening there are so many crazy things happening in the sky and there are so many disasters happening euphrates river drying up we have israel at war we also have project blue beam which has been activated which means that there might be fake alien invasion that the antichrist and the people that are in power are going to be executing and there will be so much disasters and i think it is now finally the time that we turn towards god and get good with him because like it says in the bible man he will come anytime like a thief in the night and that will be a time when we least expect about his second coming and it could be any time we never know so always stay prepared always get good with god and try to live a better life and that's pretty much it so i really want to know what is your opinions down below on whatever is happening right now and one of the biggest disastrous news that we just received from nasa today it seems like a lot of bad things are heading towards us in 2025 and i will of course keep you guys updated with everything that's going on in the world and this year is full of surprises prizes and I can't wait to see what more is coming up and I can't wait to see what more signs we're going to be receiving in the coming days. Now with that being said if you guys have gone and enjoyed this video please just take a few seconds of your valuable time drop a like on this video it really goes a long way it helps the channel helps the videos get a lot more reach and the more people that watch this video hopefully they might get good with God. So share this video with as many people as you can and let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about what's going on in the world about the new sun that's actually cracking open and releasing massive of solar flare i would love to hear your thoughts in the comments i would love to reply to as many of you guys as i possibly can and if you have any questions feel free to go ahead and leave them in the comments and i'm pretty sure the community will help you figure out whatever kinds of doubts that you might have related to these topics so if you want to watch more videos like these make sure to go ahead subscribe and by the way on this channel i cover all different types of content one being gaming content which is the main content that i focus on this channel at the same time i also cover all different weird stuffs that's happening the world because these things are super exciting now and i just love covering these stuff so if you want to watch all of these things make sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on and set it to all and with that being said i will see you guys on the next one till then take it easy fans and goodbye